if you believe the current figures, folks. So even with the current figures that we're given, if humankind has been around for longer than a thousand years, then there should be ten times the amount of people on Earth as what there are now. There should be around about 70 billion people on Earth when really we're told there's only 7.7. But like I said, folks, you can take it back to like 1517, 300,000 people on the earth, according to current figures in 1517. 1454, just a few over 150,000 people across the entire earth. And that's according to official mainstream calculations. Think about it. Does that make sense to you, folks? Because it sure does not make any sense whatsoever to me. How can there only be 7.7 .7 billion people on the Earth if the current timeline is correct? I mean, sure, and I can take into account that there's been wars, there's been holocaust, there's 66 million people killed by the Bolshevik Jews and the Russian gulags, millions of people killed in World War I and World War II, millions of people dying of starvation in Yemen now. I mean, all sorts of stuff going on to decrease the population, but even with these wars and all of these depopulations that we've seen that are visible depopulations, the figures simply don't add up, and they don't add up no matter which way you look at it. I mean, if you're an evolutionist and you believe that mankind came into being like 26,000 years ago or something, there should be hundreds of billions of people on the Earth now. I mean, it should be a number that's virtually beyond calculation on Earth now. Even if you are a religionist and you believe that man was created 5,000 years ago in the Garden of Eden and we went from there, well, even in that timeline of 5,000 years, there should still be around about 70 to 80 billion people on the earth now. And that's even taking into account the flood of Noah in the biblically accepted timeline, which places the deluge somewhere between 2300 BC and 4000 BC. So even taking that into account, it still doesn't work. So which way do you want to go? What do you want to believe? Because no matter how you look at it, the figures don't add up. You know, the only way for there to even be 7.7 .7 billion people on Earth now, even if the figures are true, would be if large amounts of people were wiped out in some form of cataclysm that happened sometime in the last four or 500 years. And if these cataclysms happen every 200 years, and let's say a third of the world's population is destroyed, or even two thirds of the world, or even three quarters of the world's population is destroyed, then that would put us every 200 years back to around about seven billion people. And it would make perfect sense for the population to be what it is. And it also stands as a reasonable indication that the population of this earth is wiped out reasonably regularly, as regularly as possibly every two or three hundred years.